Hi guys, uh, so if you're facing no internet connection issue in Microsoft Office applications, uh, so here is the fix. Uh, just right click on the start button, click on run, and type ncpa.cpl. This is the first basic fix. Click on OK. And now, whatever be uh, with which you are connected to the internet, uh, if it's an Ethernet, right click on the Ethernet. Or if it's in Wi-Fi, right click on the Wi-Fi. In my case, I am connected via Ethernet. Just right click on it and click on Disable. And then again right click on it and click on Enable. Okay. And try again. Uh, maybe disabling and re-enabling it fixes the issue. If this does not fix the issue, let's move to the second method. And that is uh, just search partial, the search partial in the Windows 10 search box, right click on it, click on run, run as administrator. Now once this uh, partial window opens up, you have to run this command. I have given this command in the description of the video given below. You can, this command disable IPv4, check some offload in Windows 10. Just copy and paste this command in the uh, partial window and hit enter. I have given this command in the description of the video given below. You can directly copy this command from there. Just hit enter and IPv4 checksum upload will be disabled and then try again and your problem will be fixed. Uh, now when you hit enter, it gets executed. Now, uh, if this also do not work, let's move to the third method. Just right click on this uh, start button, click on run and type ncpa.cpl again, click on OK. And now right click on the Ethernet with which you are connected via Internet. If you are connected via Wi-Fi, right click on the Wi-Fi. Click on Properties. Now double click on Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. And now check this, use the following DNS server address and use any uh, public DNS, okay? Um, I'm, um, it may be Cloudflare, in this case it is Cloudflare. You can also use Google public DNS. Okay, 8888 and 8844. Okay, now once you have changed this to a public DNS, now click on OK, now click on OK, and now try again, and your problem will be fixed. Now, even if this does not fix your issue, let's move to the last method. Just search services in the Windows 10 search box. Click on services to open services. Now you have to locate the two services network list. Okay, network list services and network, and network location awareness. Okay, these two services. Make sure they are running. If they are running, just click on restart to restart the service. Similarly, make sure it is also running. And if they are running, just click on restart the service. If they are not running, just right click and click on start to start uh, start them okay that's it guys please do like the video to support us and thanks for watching the geek